Ooh, what's up guys, and thank you for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, and you know it, the Scarander. So right, this is from a previous asking on Twitter to for an OU game. I switched out a few pokes here to actually bring more closely to OU, where I can still wall, but you know, still feel that I'm using any pokes in any way. So I brought Magneton, I brought um, Scrafty and Clefable. But Stoutland Giggle is still around, and I'm actually using a different uh, Hippodor now, who is more specially defensive and got some offensive moves, because I really felt that uh, being just walling with this with that poke might actually, well, not be as usual, useful as I thought it would. My opponent here, Matt from Twitter, uh, he's using Togetisk, um, Torterra, Neuven, um, Jan Mega, Metagross, and Claydol. I really felt both Togetis and Torterra. Uh, I didn't really know how to counter them. Torterra is actually really, really good because I only got Ice Fang on my Hippodome, but that's about it. So it can actually do some significant damage there. And of course, Metagross is really, really tough. And I only got Earthquake on Megillith, who doesn't take Steel moves too well. So I decided to actually start off here with my Magneton. Just I wanted to find out if it would just lure him in with Earthquake on Torterra, because I'm pretty sure he's going to start off with Torterra. So now thinking about it, Magneton was probably my worst lead, but I was so sure I was going to think that I was going to lead with Hippodon. So he actually decided to bring the Claydol here in the beginning. So I was just thinking, oh man, Earth Power is so coming my way, I need to switch out. So I'm going to actually switch out to Hippodon, knowing that Hippodon can actually deal with it rather well. And uh, if I'm lucky, he's going for Stealth Rock, which wouldn't bother me at all. Sally goes for that Earth Power, it doesn't do too much. Uh, I see this as a key opportunity to just threaten him with uh, my Ice Fang here, but Psyche does fairly amount of damage, which shows me that uh, it is defensive with special attack. So, showed him Ice Fang here. I really don't want to stay in here, I'm just going to try to soak it, and I know my uh, Flyfable can do that really well. But I actually go for a self destruct here, and to be honest, I'm really glad it did that because. Um, Claydol is actually really potent against my team, so getting that one away is very, very good for me. So here's Metagross, and well, I knew that he was gonna go for a Bullet Punch, but I actually go for Meteor Mash, he's missing that, and that really sucks for him. But I was thinking I can threaten him here, because I actually went for an Ice Fang here, thinking he's gonna switch out. We got Manatrice, and that sucks, that is like, wow, really? I can't do any damage with Ice Fang against Metagross, and uh, now he's actually no no reason to switch out. So I'm just gonna go into Erangel, my my Scrafty. Let's go for that Meteor Mash. It doesn't do too much. We got the attack boost. I am faster, so I'm gonna go for Knock Off, not taking it out. But I did a fair amount of damage there, and after that boost and attack, that will definitely take me out. So I know at least now that uh, even without the Sand, that my um, Stealth like an actually outspeed, so I'm just gonna go retaliate, finish it off. So I'm really glad this wasn't agility set or anything like that. Because that really screwed me over. So that is the one more big threat out of the way. So here's the Togekiss, and well, I didn't want my uh, my Stoutland to be paralyzed here, so I was actually expecting him to go for a Thunder Wave. Uh, he went straight for an Aura Sphere. So I get that. I mean, that is fair. It did a fair amount of damage too, I guess. And uh, I'm actually just gonna go for another Ice Fang here. Pretty much trying to threaten him out. So he actually go for a metronome and got that water pulse. What are the odds? And it did a lot. I actually went for Snap Dog, right? I thought it was going to open. <laughs> Never mind me. So actually, after that, I actually decided to switch into Gigalith because I know a Rock Slide Gigalith uh, on an uninvested Togekiss could actually take it out. Plus, I got that further free boost on uh, or in the Sandstorm. We actually get a double team here, so was, that was actually really scary because Rockslay got that, you know, shaky accuracy. So here comes the Aura Sphere, my Gil is eating that up, not a doubt, and Rockslay actually hits and destroys this Togekiss. Gigalith, you're my man. Damn, you hit hard. <laughs> so anyway, Torterra is in here and I can't really do anything. I'm going into Bugra. Because I do expect him to go for an earthquake. Um, he could have gone for a sea bomb too. I'll actually take that fairly well. Like I said, I'm not fully defensive. I'm actually more of a special defensive one. So we actually chose when I got Giga Range. I was really surprised about that. Uh, and it does a lot of damage on me. 
So he's definitely forcing me here to uh, switch out because I do want that sand up. So I'm just gonna switch into my Magneton, forcing him to go for an Earthquake and then bring in my Bugra yet again uh, on my Hippodon. Ho hopefully actually that uh, he takes out my Hippodon so I can just go in with my um, Stoutland and just sweep the rest of the team. He actually decided to go for Synthesis and that sucks. That sucks in a way that I can't really... I I need a sand to be up all the turns uh, for Stoutland, so at this point I'm wasting turns here. So here comes the Rex for Nice Fang. Actually thinking that it wasn't gonna attack me. So... Now I was thinking, right, now I can at least switch out. He's gonna go for a Giga Drain. Hopefully it doesn't recover too much. Uh, this Giga Drain does a lot of damage on my Stoutland. And uh, I'm just gonna go for a Giga Impact here, but I miss! So it goes for another Giga Drain. It doesn't take me out, luckily. And uh, I actually get the other Giga Impact off here, because now I'm in the range of HP where I can't... I can't gamble on this. So he's gonna go to his Neuven here. And uh, this was actually really scary because obviously here I have to stay in because of uh, being fatigued. We actually missed the hurricane. So I can go back into my Bugra, getting up to Sandstream yet again. And actually hoping he finished me off. So I'm actually going for Boom Burst here. And um, this is where it shows that I got some special defenses here. Uh, I actually take that fairly well. And of course I will not be able to take another one. And I don't see any reason to switch out. So I'm going to take that Boom Burst like a boss. And then just introduce yet again my Stoutland, who is now fully functional in the sand. And there is no way in hell that uh, this Neumann is going to outspeed me. I actually was really glad he switched moves so he doesn't fake the uh, potential Scarf, because I probably wouldn't do this move if that was the case. So, Yanmeng is his last poke, and there is no way in hell that this thing can take a gig impact. So I'll finish that guy off, and this will basically be GG. Or, not basically, this is, this is GG. Damn, that was a good battle. For me at least, I had a really... Stoutland really dominated that game. Plus I got some good predictions down there, and as a result I won. So Matt, thank you for this battle, it was really entertaining for me. So thank you everybody for watching, I hope you enjoyed this battle, and if you do, make sure to leave a like, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, other than that, you know, kind of have to talk a little here, I guess. I mean, I, I upload a lot of losses here during this week. And the reason I did that was because a lot of battles looked just like this. Like, I got the upper hand really early, pressured my opponent, and they didn't really have a chance of losing. I know it sounds really arrogant, but the best battles I had was the battle I lost, because I was in such a struggle, really. And I also got, I think, got three really stolly battles that... They were really good to begin with, but pretty much just got a, that huge lockdown really in the middle, and I felt that, you know, 20 turns or 10 turns of stalling is, you know, I can't upload that. Uh, but to the people, they know exactly who they are, and they, they really win one fairly, so no doubt about that. Uh, other than that, guys, you know, thank you as always for watching, and also I have my, um, I actually got that, uh, what's it called? Uh, ice bucket challenge. I'm actually gonna upload something like that tomorrow. So, <laughs> check, you know, check that out. I guess um, I'm gonna upload it pretty early. Um, other than that, you know, as always, guys, thank you for watching and uh, have a good night. All right, everybody, take care. Bye.